Welcome to our tutorial on how to develop a search strategy. What we're going to do today is take a look at what a search strategy is and find out how to put one together. So what is a search strategy? A search strategy is something that we can use in any database or search engine. It is a transferable skill that we're going to have to practice and adapt. Basically, it's a blueprint for how to search a topic. And in the end, this is going to save you a lot of time and allow you to search more efficiently because you have everything you need up front rather than having to sift through tons of irrelevant information. The first thing we'll do is choose a topic and determine what it is that we want to know about it. And then we're going to develop a hypothesis. And then we'll identify key terms. And then we're going to design a plan to find relevant information. First, let's choose a topic. We're going to take a look at bullying. Now we have to narrow that down. We have to be specific. Bullying itself contains a wide range of topics. So what do we want to know about bullying? I want to know if bullying contributes to mental illness. Now we have to develop a hypothesis. What do we think we're going to find? What's the answer? What will the research show? I think that bullying does contribute to mental illness. Now we're going to identify some keywords, or our most important words. A good way to start is to use the most important words in your question or hypothesis. Since I want to know if bullying contributes to mental illness, our best terms in this sentence are going to be bullying and mental illness. Putting those two things together is most likely going to get us back relevant information on our topic. Let's think a little bit more about our keywords. First, we'll look at bullying. Now, we don't want to just have bullying on our list. We're going to want to think of synonyms, antonyms, and related terms to go along with it. Because our first identified keyword might not be the best one to use in a search. We need to have backups. A synonym is a word that means the same thing, and an antonym is a word that means the opposite. A related term is something that goes along with your topic or subject. It doesn't necessarily have to be a synonym. It's just related. We also want to think about the issues or subjects going on in your topic. Let's identify some more keywords. Asking questions can help us with that. Our questions in this case will be what types of bullying are there, where does it happen, and why are people bullied? What types of bullying are there? Cyberbullying is one, and we also have workplace bullying, and within that we can include sexual harassment, and we have school bullying as well. So what are some places where bullying happens? Well, in the case of cyberbullying, it might happen on social media. If we break it down further, we can say things like Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. As far as in schools, we can look at high schools, elementary schools, middle schools, or colleges. Now let's think about some of the reasons why people are bullied. Bullying could be based on body type, disability, race or ethnicity, religion or faith, gender or sexual orientation, among others. Now that we have some more keywords, let's move on to our second term, which is mental illness. Let's think about our words again. We're going to be thinking about synonyms, antonyms, and related terms. We also want to think about issues or subjects surrounding our topic of mental illness. Some questions we can ask to help us develop some more search terms related to mental illness are, what are some types of mental illness? And what are some of the consequences of mental illness? For types of mental illness, we can identify depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, and some of the consequences we can identify are things like low productivity, poor academic performance, problems with interpersonal relationships, or self-harm. Now that we've come up with a list of different terms, we can go ahead and design a plan to find information. What we'll have to think about is how we're going to combine our terms so that we can get the information back that we want. For this, we're going to use something we call search operators. And the particular operators we'll be using today are AND and OR. Let's take a look at AND first. When you use AND, you're going to get results that include all of your keywords. This is a good way to narrow your search or to get less results. If we use bullying and mental illness, the results that we're going to get are those intersecting ones in the middle. So all of our results will have both bullying and mental illness. 
What are some keywords that we can combine with and? Well, first we could combine bullying and mental illness, or we could also combine cyberbullying and depression. By doing this, we're saying that we only want results that have both bullying and mental illness, or we only want results that have both cyberbullying and depression. Now we're going to take a look at or. When you use or, you're going to get results that include at least one of your keywords. Or is going to let you broaden your search or get a lot more results. Or looks like this. So we could use or to combine bullying or cyberbullying. Before we were looking at the terms that intersected, but with bullying or cyberbullying, we're saying that we want either. So we're going to get back results that include bullying or results that include cyberbullying. Each result will not necessarily have both, but it will always have one or the other. So what keyboards can we combine with or? We can look at bullying or cyberbullying. We can look at sexual harassment or workplace bullying. A good way to think about this is that we want to combine synonyms or words that are close to one another when we're using or. So in this case, when we use bullying or cyberbullying, we're saying give me back results with either bullying or cyberbullying. With sexual harassment or workplace bullying, we're saying give me back results that have either sexual harassment or workplace bullying. So once again, every result is not going to contain both of the terms, but you will get a list of results that have one or the other. Now that we've learned how to design a search strategy, Go to the library's website and navigate to the databases. Go ahead and try to perform a search with just bullying. How many results do you get? Now perform one of the AND searches and one of the OR searches and see how many results you receive. Go ahead and give it a try. If you have any questions or need any help, stop by and see us. Or you can also call or email. Thanks for watching.